What's up YouTube? Today I'm going golfing in the helicopter. Uh, I got an opportunity recently that I couldn't pass up. I'm not a very good golfer. I don't really golf that much, but as you can tell, I got my nice shirt on. I got my hat on today and we're going to go uh we're going to hit the course here in about 20 minutes. The first step of golfing is get your clubs in uh, your car, in this case in the helicopter. So I'm going to have to put the door on and find a good way to secure these things in the left seat. Obviously, this helicopter is pretty small, so um, I'd love to take my buddies, but it only fits two people, or me and some golf clubs. So that's gonna be what I'm doing today. It's just gonna be a solo mission with the golf clubs. Also, thanks to my buddy Michael, he's letting me borrow his clubs. I don't have any, I don't golf very often, I'm not very good. Um, so whenever we go, I just use his. And uh, he's got a nice set he's gonna let me borrow. So I gotta work on securing these in the helicopter right now. Most of the weight is up here and uh, right on the seat, which is good. It's a B right there. I'll have to calculate a weight and balance just to make sure everything's in CG. I know it will be. I've already weighed these and everything. So I'm going to do that really quickly and I'm also going to put the door on, secure it. So the reason I'm putting one door on and not two is because I want to make sure this is all secure since I'm carrying cargo here. I know it's obviously going to be secure, but it's just an added protection layer. But the reason mine is going to stay off is because the helicopter gets really hot. It's a hot day today. My door's going to be off so it doesn't get 110 degrees in the cabin and then the passenger side will be on. So that way it's a last resort just in case something does randomly get loose, it doesn't fall out of the helicopter. And uh, we're going to take off. It's about a 20 minute flight out there. Oh, we'll get started on that. I also want to film a short um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm in the helicopter. I apologize, I haven't been making videos recently on YouTube. I've just been focusing on uh, TikToks and Instagram shorts uh, just because they're easy to film and I've been traveling a lot lately with work. So I'm going to be hitting the YouTube videos hard, uh, hopefully every week, maybe even more often. But um, I got a couple lined up already and uh, once I get into a steady flow, they'll start coming out more often. But if you guys like them, make sure you let me know, uh, drop a comment and uh, again, I'm always looking for ideas. If you guys have ideas, let me know what you want me to do in a helicopter. So again, sorry for the absence on the YouTube videos. I'm back in full swing and uh, should be coming out every week now for the next month or two. All right, so we uh, started up here. Everything looks good. Gauges are coming alive. Clutch lights still on. All right, so I just programmed it into my maps here. Um, and it doesn't say how far away we are until we start flying because it calculates it based off my airspeed, ground speed. But we're all clear. I'm going to listen to the radio and then depart probably direct from the pad here since there's really no wind at all. I pick it up to a hover. St. Charles, traffic man, the three times Julia, downwind, runway 36, St. Charles. I'm going to pick it up and uh, see how it hovers and everything with the golf clubs in there. If there's any problems, I'll just set it back down. Nice and calm. Yeah, it feels fine. All right, I'm gonna take off now. St. Charles traffic, you're looking for 939 Shuttles at Skylink, making a direct departure to the Northwest. Be no factor for you guys, St. Charles. All right, it says we're 17 minutes away if we cruise at 70 knots. St. Charles traffic, Bonanza 35 Juliet, final runway 36, St. Charles. So we're gonna pick up our airspeed about, uh, I think probably 90 miles an hour today, maybe 100, which will be about 90 knots. And then uh, we'll start cruising and see how fast we'll get there. It's already going down, now it says 14 minutes. So really depends on how fast we're going. But man, I'm excited to make this video. This was uh, a video that I never really thought was gonna happen. I always wanted to do it. I don't golf a lot, like I said before, but uh, I had an opportunity today and uh, they were very nice. Uh, they made it happen. I called a lot of different places for a long time and no one ever wanted to make this. Uh... So yeah, super grateful to be able to even make this video. Uh, it's been a long time in the works. 
and uh, I don't golf a ton, so please don't make fun of me. I'll, I'll probably play nine holes, which will probably take me like, I, probably, I don't even know if I'll t do the full nine holes because I know they start to get busy later in the day and I want the helicopter to be gone. What would really suck is if somebody really bad's playing golf today and they accidentally shank a ball and they hit the helicopter. That would be really, uh, really bad, but I don't think it'll happen. I'm doing this on a weekday, so hopefully the only people that'll be there are good golfers um, because most people don't golf on the weekdays. So on the ground it's super hot, but with one door off and one door on, it's fine up here. I feel like it's like 70 degrees, so it's nice and cool, uh, but on the ground it'll be hot. So I have access to land on the parking lot and or the grass right next to the parking lot. Um, obviously I'm not going to land on the golf course, even though that would be a funny video. Um, that would be a lot of work for them, and I don't want to, I don't want to have to do that. But yeah, the plan is to land, uh, go in, get checked in for my tea time, go get a golf cart, load up these load up the golf clubs from the helicopter into the cart and uh, play around round of golf. I think I said earlier, it would be so nice if uh, I had a helicopter that was a little bit bigger and I could take some of my buddies who love to golf and are a lot better than me. But um, unfortunately today I just got clubs and me in here. I don't think there's a room for another passenger. But maybe someday uh, I'll make it happen. That's the bad thing about this little helicopter, but the best thing in the world, guys, is that this little helicopter can land anywhere. And it's quiet, it doesn't make a lot of noise, it doesn't disrupt the ground, it doesn't produce a lot of downwash. Um, so there's like leaves and bushes going everywhere. You can land this thing in your backyard if you wanted to, and that's why I love making videos with it, because if you guys have seen a big helicopter up close in person, it produces so much power and downwash, you can't even get close to it. But this little helicopter does not do that, and that's why I'm able to make up most of these videos, is because I'm landing in spots that most big helicopters can't land at. on the radio, whatever they're doing down uh, downtown. A lot of places you have a helicopter air-to-air, -air, uh, different frequency. It's pretty much the same frequency across the United States, and that way um, helicopters operate at a different altitude. We're all on the same kind of path, so uh, we all like to communicate in the St. Louis area. Go right down the fairway of this one hole that no one's on, and then just glide right into the uh, parking spot. St. Louis area traffic helicopter air five is going to be westbound along 40. I'm going to shoot for my approach here right in front of that tree. Bring it down nice and low. Alright, so there's some mounds here, so I want to be right in the middle of all this. Got a lot of people watching here. How you doing, sir? Hey, I got you all set up with that cart there. Oh. I can't drive it over here because it's got GPS <laughs> oh, on it. I appreciate it, it, and it sir. doesn't let carts drive from here. <laughs> oh, this is like a perfect spot. I at first I was like, well, maybe I'm a little too close to tees, but I'm fine with it as long as you are. You're not too close to tees because okay, it's not going to come into play. Exactly, there. that's what I'm saying. And yeah. all these guys are good, so you know I'm probably the worst golfer here, to be honest with you. So, cool. I appreciate it. I'll grab that cart and then get all set up. Thank yeah, you again. Thank you. Sorry for the distraction, boys. Didn't mean to mess up your round of golf. Oh, no worries. There was nothing to mess up. Oh, well. That's good to hear. Yeah, playing around nine. There you go. There he is. The guy that's always laying on sandbars. Probably, probably me. I'm probably the only one. Yeah, Matt, nice to meet you. What's your name? Jacob. Jake, Matt. Nice I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I, I work over at Spirit. I fly. Oh, uh, no shit. Air jets for a company, so. Oh, who do you fly for? Airnet. That's awesome. Yeah, that probably you've seen that at McDonald's. That's a big one, too. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's yep. is, uh, really? is a Really? Yeah, yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, a, I believe it. Oh, I yeah. hope I don't hit your this helicopter the first one? coming up the fairway. I mean, I think. Where are you shooting at? This one's just on this side of the fairway, right? I think it's yeah, literally impossible going, for you. going back up this hill, so. It'll be impossible, because you got those mounds. I think it'll be good. And if you don't, I know where you work. I'll just call the Lears. And just get some, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm you just call, kidding. You can call my boss. I'm kidding. Know. It's on me if you guys hit it, but I feel like you guys are good enough to. Well, you know us pilots, we don't work. Yeah, so. exactly. Right. That's what I'm saying. Hey, nice to meet you, boys. Yeah, you too. See ya. You too. Uh, these are a little heavier than I thought. Close the door. Doing all this with one hand. I would have pulled the golf cart up to the helicopter, but this is a fancy golf course and everything's GPS. So uh, yeah, you gotta 
can't just drive it anywhere, which is actually pretty cool. The way it doesn't tear up the fairways and the greens. Uh, I'm gonna get started here and play the front nine. Ooh, or I could play the back nine. I don't know, I gotta go check in and pay though. So let's go do that now. no rush uh matt lombard yes sir okay matt are we doing nine or are we trying to do 18 uh, i'm doing nine 26.99 comes to 27.67 all right no gatorade as well please oh, okay okay grab a cart already got one uh, you're all set Head thank over you to sir. number one appreciate it Enjoy a beautiful day. thank you sir All right, so one thing I just wanna be clear on here, I would never be doing this if it wasn't for a video. My channel is really about doing stuff in a helicopter, everyday things. So golf is something that people play all the time. So I think it's a perfect way to do this. I know this may seem like I've done this before, but I promise you I've not, and I probably will never do it again, but it is cool to film this. Um, and again, if this was not for a video, I would never do this. But we made it to the first hole. It's uh, par four. This is a fancy golf club. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but it has, look at this. You can even say how far to the next hole. This is a very nice golf course. So it's called Bear Creek in Wentzville. And uh, I got some geese in the way down there, but uh, I'm gonna get started here and uh, tee off once these people are done. Probably play four or five holes. Probably not gonna play nine to be honest with you. And then play the 17th hole for the video. All right, I am uh, pretty bad at driving in golf, so <laughs> I'm gonna, it's a par four. I'm going to shoot for the white clubs, um, and I'm going to tee off with an iron because, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm good with a driver if it slices right, but otherwise, this is a nice and straight fairway, so uh, I'm going to shoot an iron and then probably go like five over. But anyways, let's tee off. All right, my philosophy in golf is just kind of walk up there and take a swing. Don't make fun of my form, I know it's bad. Oh, nice. Didn't make it past the first tee box. Nice. Okay, hell of a lot better than my shot. All right, it's all in the first hole. I've already screwed up two shots, but uh, this guy was really nice behind me and I feel bad because I'm filming and taking it really slow anyways. So I'm just like, hey, you can go in front of me since he's waiting. Um, and probably 10 times the golfer I am. So that was that last shot was me recording him. All right, well, I got some visitors. You guys mind moving? They know I'm not going to hit it very far, so. All right, well. Come to realize I suck at golf. Like I'm actually horrible, so. Probably hit like four people already. It's on the first tee box. Ball's going right, then left. Shit is too hard, man. God, I hope I didn't hit any houses. Probably hit my own helicopter by now. I think I'm good at chipping. Probably not, to be honest, but let me just at least chip and see if I can do something correctly. All right, so first hole we're just completely ignoring because I did horrible on it. Luckily, it's nice and peaceful out here, so I'm not mad anymore. Um, but check it out, here's the next hole. Um, again, I'm probably gonna practice my iron work instead of driving here. Also, there's houses and I don't wanna hit those. Calm, I'm at a calm, calm place now. I'm just gonna aim for the green. That's all there is to it. That was a great shot. Just went straight up. Happy with it. I was going so good. So good. So good until that. All right. 
falls literally right next to me. I'll try this again. All right, this shouldn't be bad. I got my pitching wedge right here. Ball is right here. It's nice and bright. And I'm going right there. So ideally, it shouldn't be too bad. Just nice and easy, right? You no, know, I have so much confidence in myself right now that what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go put the camera right next to the hole or on the green, because that's how good it's gonna be right now. Probably regret doing this. But... bogey on that hole I think and if I didn't I know my editor will make it look like I got a bogey so I just got to another hole here and it's a par five but the course curves so perfectly when I slice my driver the ball goes like that so it'll be actually perfect right around the corner in theory so I'm hyped for this get out the driver and uh, yeah, hopefully not hit any houses finally a nice drive perfectly the way I wanted to go Let's see if it's in the woods or not though. All right, here comes the fun part of, you didn't exactly get to see where uh, your ball went, so now you just kind of drive around until you find it. All right, shot a pretty good score on that last hole. Um, my GoPro is about to die. Uh, battery's almost done. And I need to film the departure leaving in the helicopter. So I uh, didn't film a whole lot and I'm probably gonna be done. Only played like four or five holes, but um, I'll play the 17th just for a video and then that's it. I think I'm just gonna head out though. Maybe grab some lunch. I did have a lot of fun only playing like four or five holes. This is a really nice golf course. I would recommend it, so. All right, rolling up on the 17th hole here. There's the tee, and what is that? Let's go see if anybody uh, hit the helicopter. Uh, hopefully there's no golf balls inside of it or anything like that. Oh, rotor blades look good. Looks good. She looks good. Cannot complain, I will say. I don't see any dents. What I'm about to do right now, I just pulled up to it. I'm gonna load up the clubs inside. I'll show you guys how I do it one more time. And then uh, we're gonna get out of here. All right. Alrighty, all finished up with golf. Um, we are ready to get out of here and depart. There's nobody that's been on this side of the green. So this hole, this is the next hole. You basically go down to the 17th and you come up this way. And I made sure nobody was here. So nice departure, nobody's close to us. We also have some ground crew helping out. A big shout out to Mike, the GM of Bear Creek Golf Club and Course in Wentzville, Missouri. If you guys are in Wentzville or Missouri, go play. Uh, say I sent you, tell Mike. He's an awesome guy, super nice guy. Uh, he was. Without him, none of this video would be possible. So big thank you to him uh, in Bear Creek Golf Course in uh, Wentzville. So I'm gonna depart the area, get out of here. All right, that was awesome to film that video and leave the golf course like that. Uh, hopefully somebody has some video on the ground. I, I wanna put that in the video, but I'm starving for lunch. I haven't been here in a while, but I know there's a couple lunch spots right around here. We have access to land in this big open spot in Wentzville. I've landed here before. Let's go grab some lunch. All right, power down here for a couple minutes. Cylinder head temperature didn't even get that hot. That was like a three minute flight. So I am starving. It is three o'clock, haven't had lunch. I do see a cop that uh, looks like he wants to come over here and say something, but I think he just happened to be here and I happened to land at the same time. So should be good on all fronts. Uh, we have permission to land here, but it's always funny when the cops show up when we land. Yeah. 
get the uh, full box combo, please? A box or combo? The box combo? Yeah. And you want a fountain drink or lemonade? Lemonade, please. This is what I look like. I try to uh, cover up the blinking red part right there so people don't see it's recording just because the, it's so obvious when you walk into restaurants and blinking red lights on. People always think you're a weirdo. So, uh, but this is how I look when I walk into places just to film for you guys. Otherwise, if I had like a camera like this, I'd look like an idiot. I still look like an idiot, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I've watched your video. Oh, no uh, shit, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty I'm crazy. A subscriber of yours. What's your name? Mark. Mark, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. I wanted to come out and yeah. say hi and meet you. Oh, well, I appreciate you saying hi. It's not very often I get recognized, especially by an air traffic controller. So. Yeah, That's I cool. know. That's... I, I went out to that barbecue place that you oh, go yeah? to in... Um, Newtown? Yeah, Newtown. Uh, what'd you think? It was, it was good. It was and good, I told yeah. him I saw you there. <laughs> stuff. So I saw, saw that Chris? video that you did. So that was, was a fun one. I was yeah, at CBS and I just now and I heard a helicopter like ten minutes ago. Yeah. And then I'm like, I wonder if that's Matt. Well, that's and then, awesome. And then we went to Seven Brew. And oh, then, did you? And I'm like, look, there's this helicopter. That's crazy. That <laughs> so, is so wild that you that you saw me and know who I am. That's that was pretty cool. I don't often get recognized, so uh, I always enjoy when I do. I love meeting you guys who watch the videos. Um, all your different backgrounds and where you guys are from it's always fascinating to me so uh, shout out to mark that was cool be about a 15 minute flight home uh with a headwind packed up make sure the golf clubs are still secure and then get out of here all right so you remember how i was saying how i have to put the ipad i take the ipad out so that way it cools down well i guess i left it a little bit in the heat because look it says temperature ipad needs to cool down which is very bad because that's my main form of navigation it's not the end of the world i have another navigation tool but i like to have everything working so it's burning up right now so i'm gonna walk back inside somewhere all right ipad all good i just let it cool off for a little bit one thing i haven't shown which is actually kind of cool i have a new uh new mount for my ipad i'll show you how it goes in it's nice and easy basically just that's it it's the same as those um, one mounts that you use for like motorcycles and bikes and everything. So uh, it's called quad lock, but yeah, that's the mounts I use. I see another cop in the same spot the other cop was, but they just, uh, they just drive by and wave at me. They're always nice around here. Also, it really isn't their like jurisdiction or anything like that, so uh, I never usually see cops. And when I do, I always record it and then put it on YouTube, so probably stop coming up to me for a reason. Most of the cops are out. Most of the cops around here in St. Louis, whenever I land a helicopter, are all super nice. Um, but never really know wherever you're landing at. Pretty hot today, so not a ton of lift on the ground. Um, let's bring it up to a thousand feet and hopefully uh, it'll be about 20 degree difference, maybe 10 degrees. And that was a ton of fun to film that golf video. It's about a uh, 15 minute flight with a headwind on the way back to the airport. We're going to cruise about 90 knots, about 105 miles an hour and uh, about a thousand feet. Maybe even go a little higher, that way it gets a better, uh, better weather. A thousand feet kind of makes a difference uh, temperature, so I'm gonna go up and maybe we'll lose a couple degrees. First big thank you is to my friend Mikey who let me borrow his golf clubs. I don't have a set, and uh, yeah, he came in clutch big time with a nice set for me. Um, they fit perfectly in the helicopter. They're pretty much standard size, I think. Uh, it'd be nice if I had a bigger helicopter, like a BO-105 or some big, you know, big doors SUV helicopter. That'd be fun. Um, but with the 22, you just don't really have any room, but it worked out perfectly. Calculated the weight balance and the CG and everything worked out. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you to Bear Creek Golf Club in Wentzville. All right, other than that, we got about uh, eight minutes left back to the hangar, and uh, we're going to pull the helicopter in. It's a beautiful day. One of the last hot days here in St. Louis is going to start getting chilly and cold um, as fall comes around. If you guys have any ideas, as always, let me know in the comment section below.
As you guys saw, I was wearing some STL River helicopter hats. They are they're new and available on stlriverhelicopters.com. If you guys want to go get yourself a hat, um, if you buy it and wear it, send me a picture. I'll post on my Instagram. But I'm going to head out now, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. As always, leave a comment if you have a good video idea. See you guys. Thank you.